sweep the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Go! 
saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind, but now I see. I was in a service Sunday, and the minister say, look what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. Look back over your life to where you are now. When you decided to call upon the name of Jesus, just look what the Lord has done. I welcome you again in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the captain of my soul for all is done for him call out of darkness into his light I was blind but now I see I thank you again for viewing my telecast a lot of people have told me they have seen the telecast, well, I pray that the words that be given, that you get something out of it. The word of God is, to me, I call it practical Christian living when you apply the word of God to your life. When you apply the word of God to your life, you can't go wrong. I want to be mindful to pray for the peace of Israel. I want to be praying also for the Palestinians. There got to be peace somewhere. God will intervene sooner or later. Time is growing short. Time is growing near to the coming of the Lord. I'm not a minister that says that he's coming at a certain time for no one knows the time of the return of the Lord. A last week, a last month, the beginning of a month, I, I, I talked about uh, perfection. Uh, I talk about the, the three stages of perfection. This is something that we need to get down in our spirits in order to build a closer and stronger relationship with the Father through the Son. I talked about positional perfection, related, relative perfection, and the ultimate perfection. Positional, now the positional 
perfection is already possessed by every believer in Christ. Jesus said in Matthew 548, be ye therefore perfect, even as your father which is in heaven is perfect. Here the word implies full development, growth into maturity of godliness. Our position as believers in Christ versus the sacrifice of the, the sacrifices of the Old Testament laws. For sin in 1 John 1 and 8 again, a new covenant I write unto you, which thing is true in him and in you because the darkness is past. And the true light now shineth. He that saith he is in the light and hateth his brother is in darkness even unto now. He that loveth his brother abideth in the light, and there is none occasion of stumbling in him. Let us pray. Oh, Father God, I pray for the for these names that I will call out Mosetta Hamlet that you touch right now. Heavenly Father, I pray for Robert Morrow. I pray for the ministers. I pray for Israel, that there be peace in Israel. I pray for the children, oh Heavenly Father. I pray for those ones that know you not. I pray that this word goes out, that it touch someone's heart, that it pricks them down in a spirit that they might go out with the fire to bring forth your word. In Jesus' name, I pray. I pray, O oh Heavenly Father, that I not be seen, that your beloved Son be seen in me. I pray now that everyone that's watching this telecast, that the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, breathe on you right now in the name of Jesus. I pray that he put a hedge of, of protection around you, protecting you from all hurt and harm. And we give, lift him up and give him praise for he's worthy. We can do nothing in ourselves. It is Christ Jesus that saved. Looking at John, in St. John, John said this, but as many as received him, to them gave the power to become the sons of God. Even to them that believe on his name. You see, we got to believe on the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus said, pick up your cross and follow me. The road, my friend, is not an easy road. For even the Son of God has suffered in this world. And we think it no less that if we be followers of Jesus, that is going to be some suffering in this life. But he gives us a surety. He suffered for a little while. But in the morning, it's going to be a glorious time. And as I take you through the stages of perfection, okay, now verse 13 is saying, which were born not of the blood, nor the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, 
but of God. Jesus is the light of the world. John says in that first chapter that Jesus is the light of the world. For there is no other. Oh, when we were lost in darkness, blinded by the God of this world, enslaved by the lust of a man, but God, but God, through his holy, only begotten son, God sent his son to save us. For we cannot save ourselves. For the sacrifices of the old was just a shadow of what was to come. For the blood of animals could not take away our sin. And they went in once a year to sacrifice, make sacrifices for their sin. Killing of animals. But they had to continually do that. Once a year, they did that. For the sacrifices of the new covenant is superior to the many sacrifices of the old. One time and one time only. For Jesus was the sacrificial lamb of God. The followers, the light. Jesus is the light. For his one-time sacrifice, he gave his life. For he is the Lamb of God, which take away the sins of all the world. Not just for the sins of some, but for the whole world. For everything that is created was created by the hands of God. God loves all his children, and God wants them to turn to them, to him. Now hear this. All the children of God are born again. The new birth is through the word of God as the means if you look at 1 Peter 1 and 23, born again, not of the corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. Oh, they thought that they had did away with Jesus when they nailed him up on the cross. But Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. Now, that was their fatal mistake. And he said some things that even his disciples didn't understand. In three days, if this temple be told down, in three days, I will build it up. I will lift it up again. Jesus was talking about himself. For they did not kill him. For he laid down his life for you and for me. A one time sacrifice for all our sins. And by the spirit of God as the author. By his divine presence, Christ always was in the world. But now that the fullness of time has come, he was after another manner. God manifested in the flesh. The divine glory which darted through the veil of flesh. Men that close their weaknesses to those most familiar with them. Uh, when you have friends, you say things around those friends that you wouldn't normally say around other people. But this man, Jesus, 
but it was not so with him. Those most intimate with him saw most of his glory. Although he was in the form of a servant as the outward circumstances, yet he respects of graces. His form was like the son of God. His divine glory appeared in the holiness of his doctrine. He laid down his life and he picked it up again. He died in our stead. In, in our stead. When we were lost in the world, God sent his son to make it right with us. He died for our sins that we may not taste death. That the, that the grave would not have victory on us. And the words say, O oh grave, where is thy victory? O oh death, where is thy sting? Ah, oh, he died for us in our stays uh, for the sins that we had committed uh, if we would go to Jesus and confess our sins to him he is faithful to forgive us for them uh, for he sits on the throne of God uh, and we are able now not to go to the priest, but go straight to the throne of God uh, with boldness, knowing that Jesus has wiped away all our sins, away putting us in a perfect uh, position in the family of God. No more blinded by Satan for the light of God the Lamb of God, the Word of God, the Son of God has set us free. The only way to be free is in and through Jesus. Was to be free is in and through Jesus Christ. When we come to Christ, we are in a perfect position to lay down your petitions to him. Salvation is free. Salvation is free. You're searching the world, looking for a way out. You're looking for something to believe in. Believe in Jesus for this thing that I preach to you is the truth. There is no other truth. Don't be blinded by fast talking, slick folk, for the word of God will stand. It will stand when all others fail. And God is a promise keeper. If you have not chosen God and Jesus as your Lord and Savior, now is the time. Now is the time. Search yourself right now in the name of Jesus. Examine yourself. Are you where you want to be without Christ? Come to Christ. Call on his name. Let us pray. Oh, Father God, we come to you humbly as we know how. With a bow down head and a humble heart. Thanking you for all things. Heavenly Father, my life is out of control. I need you in my life right now. For I am a sinner. I lay down myself prostrate to you right now in the name of Jesus. Not my will, but thy will be done in my life. For I heard that you are God that can forgive sins. I ask you to forgive me of my sins. Lift me out of this darkness. Let your light shine forth that I might follow you. 
and I'll be forever faithful to you, giving you all praise and honor, for you are worthy to be praised. I accept you right now as my Lord and Savior. Help me, Lord. Help me. In the name of Jesus, we pray. If you pray that prayer and bend it from your heart, then expect a visit. Expect a visit from him. Pour out your heart to him. Be true to him. For he's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Not too long ago, I was lost. But he showed me his marvelous light. When I call out to him with godly sorrow in my heart, he heard my prayer. And my friend, he will hear your prayer. Call him. Call him. Call him now before it's too late. He loves you. I love you. I want to show you the way. I want to show you the way to his marvelous light. Life is not as bad as it seems when you got Jesus and you have something to look forward for to. The grave is not the last stopping place for you. That is not the end, but only the beginning. For God has prepared for us. We wait. The world wait for the coming of Jesus Christ. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost. Now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Joe. 
saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind, but now I see. I was in a service Sunday, and the minister say, look what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. Look back over your life to where you are now. When you decided to call upon the name 
of Jesus. Just look what the Lord has done. I welcome you again in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the captain of my soul. For all is done for him. Call out of darkness into his light. 